Hello, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to CO2 free. You curious what CO2 free is? This is CO2 free. See CO2 free. This is my ride. Now I've had many CO2 free, CO2 free two, CO2 free one, CO2 free three. Those were all leaps, but this one is a nice fast. Tesla Model 3. It's a 3PD, which is a Model 3 performance dual drive, or P3. Yeah, the, well, you, you, you get the idea. Anyway, so this is my central console, and this is what my, my car looks like from the inside. One very cool thing is you can see clouds. Another cool thing is the seats are white, so it's like sitting on a cloud which is why I generally sign off all of my electric car posts these days as cruising on the cloud because these are the clouds and this is me cruising. Now, what I'd like to do for y'all is see if we can look through the instrument cluster here. And we did try this a little bit and it may not work, but what I'd like to do is a little drive to just show you how the screen over here and Charles, Please leave your microphone on and be the one to direct me if I need to adjust the camera in any way. But uh, this is the display. Right now it says I'm on hold, which means essentially not parked, but driving, but uh, stopped. And here's me putting in the gear. As you can see, it's in drive now. And you should see a stop sign. Um, yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing your screen there. There right, you go. That's there, better. Because they're just getting a lot of glare from the from the lovely clouds that's coming through the uh, <laughs> through the through the roof. There you go. That's much better. Yeah. So so uh, I I'm going to pause it every so often to hold it up, but I wanted to show you. There's the stop sign on the, the video, and if you can see it, there's a stop sign right over there. So the, the car is smart enough to know where stop signs are. A little earlier, we were seeing trash cans on the screen. And again, I'm going to put it down here and hope the glare doesn't get you. But uh, I'll sort of hope that way. All right. So let's see. Bring you out here. And uh, hopefully you can see the, uh, the speed right now because I want to show you something. Yeah, I can't First, see your, I can't see your, uh, my, again, I'm getting a lot of glare, so I can't see anything on your, well, let me we'll let me try this. All right, so there. Yeah, lots of lovely clouds, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. So now you should be able to see it. I'll, I'll do. It. I'll try and do this as one-handed driving. Wish yeah, me luck. Don't crash your car. <laughs> yes, another another stop sign right here. Uh, there's a guy running. See the guy running. Yeah, so I saw that on the screen. Uh, and so. In theory, it should show cars. It shows my speed up there at the top. The reason I wanted to show you my speed is I want to do a little demonstration for you. But first, I wanted to apologize that I've been trying and trying for years and years. Well, not years and years. I exaggerate months and months uh, to get the dash cam on the Tesla to work. For a while, it worked. But then, basically, because it was a USB stick, USB sticks are not very good on uh, Teslas. You really have to have something with a multi-write. So I bought a new drive, put it in just this morning, and uh, apparently it's not formatted correctly. So unfortunately, I will not have any videos of the drive today. You'll just have to sort of imagine it. Maybe sometime in the near future, I will have videos. I'll put them on my YouTube channel. But for now, this is me driving and what I wanted to demonstrate for you is one other really cool aspect about the, uh, the Tesla P3D, as I call it. It is a performance car. And so, as we're light up there, you'll see it'll recognize the stoplights. So we should see, or we should see on the screen in a moment, or should see the screen on, on in, in a moment, come on, car, show the green, show the green light. There you go. See little traffic cameras coming up? So that's, so basically, as you can see, the car knows a lot about the obstacles around here. So there's the traffic camera. And then coming down here, you can see the traffic camera again. So that's one really neat 
neat aspect of the, uh, the Tesla Model 3. Now I'm going to go up here to this hill and I'm going to make a U-turn because there was one other thing I want to demonstrate for you. And I want you to watch the uh, speedometer there. All right. That. I think you're in the award for one hand driving. All right, good thing there are no cops around, but if you just saw, I went up to 70 in just a couple of seconds. So now I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, uh, basically to show you, and thanks uh, Charles for commentary. I'm gonna try this a little bit differently. This time I want you to actually see the, the view since I don't have the dash cam view for you. Just so you can get a feeling, even if you don't feel the uh, heads back acceleration. It's a beautiful day today. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, it was raining this morning, but uh, I checked the weather and I said, well, look, it's a perfect day to go outside. Except I will say this, my phone uh, is very temperature sensitive. And when I was trying this out with Charles earlier, just an hour earlier, the phone was so cold, it basically shut off on me. Fortunately, we're in the car now, so we should be okay. And uh, here we go. One, two, three. So as you can see, it does have a very nice kick. Now some other features of the car. Um, let me get into the park and I can show you some of the neat little uh, bells and whistles that come with this puppy. As you can see, the lights are red right here. Now they're, they're green, so I can make a turn. I wanted to do all that first because uh, I was hoping the temperature would warm up a bit by the time we uh, get this thing in the park. And uh, uh, just to say, you know, I don't know if you saw the little uh, picture that Charles posted on the uh, official invite. That's Delegate Joshua Cole. He's a very nice man from, uh, from Fredericksburg, Virginia. That's what he represents. He's a delegate. And uh, I gave him the heads back demo and believe me, it is something to be felt. So I'm just going to go over here and uh, get us back into a parked position so I can demonstrate some of the nice features with the car. So it seems to me that the things that you like about the Model 3 thus far, as you, as you described, is, the, is the sort of the so-called bells and whistles, all the, you know, the, the, the self-driving and the, the awareness and all oh, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, I tell you, I should have demonstrated for you the self-driving, but I think a lot of you have seen the self-driving. Um, the, I was showing you detections, but I was under control 100% of the time. Actually, now I kind of regret that I didn't show you uh, the no, look ma, no hands. Um, well, we got time. Tell you what, if we have time at the end, I'm going to show you the look ma, no hands, but I have to get onto a standard street for that. I need the double yellow line. Otherwise, the autopilot doesn't work. And so these uh, little internal communities, we can't do that. And there's the back backup camera. So, and I just have to, hang on. Uh, Charles, I'm just gonna put you like that, even though you can't see the screen. Mainly, uh, well, that, because I need two hands for this. <sighs> Yeah. The, oh, I appreciate you making an offer about the showing the the uh, self-driving. And the the other, the other thing I've seen I've seen a number of Model S and three owners do is they love to show the summon thing too. You know where you can. Oh yes, yes. You know, in fact, I I, well, I, 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 I watched one video where it actually was in a parking lot and the person was like like the far end of a parking lot, and they were way in front of the store and then they actually summoned it and like I was like I was I was nervous for them and it wasn't even my car. And it was like slowly making its way there. And there weren't that many cars in the lot, but it, it, I mean, it did it. But I mean, I would be very nervous doing that. <laughs> well, Charles. Have you played around with that any? Now, Charles, uh, you know, you did remind me of the summon and I think we can do that here. So if you'll just, um, just give me a second here. I should still be audio. I don't know if I'm video right now, but uh, if you can hear me, and let me know, Charles, can you see me? Can you see the uh, car? 
hang on. Let me try this. Uh, first of all, yeah, you see the car. And okay, just a second. Getting ready. Gonna do this. Oops. Not that. This. 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 Come on. Back. Uh, and then we're gonna go to summon. And you can't really see my screen, but what's gonna happen now is. Uh, should be able to connect to the vehicle. If this takes too long, don't worry, I'll move on to something else. Okay. Reconnect. I'm gonna say, do some acrobatics here with the phone. <laughs> no, it's, unfortunately, summon is persnickety because uh, it has to physically connect to the car. Uh, I think it's partly because the cell phone signal is not that good. So we'll, we'll abort that demo. Uh, we might be able to get it, do it somewhere else, but for now, let's move on to some other things. Yeah, I was, if you want to give us a quick walk around the exterior, you know, and show, kind of show us what you like, oh, or, or the interior, like other things that you like about the interior and that sort of thing, yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, 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 but um, I want to show some of the, the if you'll, you'll excuse me and pardon me for just a moment, you've got the calendar sync, so it knows that like we're doing this thing right now. Um, and we got uh, energy usage. Well, if I'd done a trip, it's showing right now how much energy I'm using. There's the mileage that I've, the total mileage I've got. I know it's a little dark here. Total mileage I've got. That's the mileage I'm using. And, uh, and Charles, again, if I'm having any trouble with, uh, if you're all having trouble with seeing, let me know. Charging, that's the state of charge. I can set limit and schedule it. Uh-oh. Okay, he's just turning around. Got the US, UPS truck over here. Um, I got a web browser built into the car. You can order your own on Model 3. I can give you my QR code. Uh, that's the HVAC system. Uh, there's a dog mode. So like a uh, good friend of mine, uh, Dave Bennett, he, he has these two beautiful golden retrievers, golden, golden retriever poodle mixes. And uh, sometimes he just leaves them in the car so he can put the car in dog mode and the car keeps a nice temperature while, uh, while the dogs are sitting there. And it'll be a little screen on the, uh, uh, you know, this screen right here will have a little picture of dogs playing, animated dogs playing to show, no, no, the dogs are safe. Um, there's entertainment. So I've got, uh, hey Jeffrey, Netflix. could you go back to the AC for a second? Because, uh, one thing I'm oh, curious sure. about and others might be curious about this too, is sure. the, uh, cause it has a unique sort of AC system. Cause it's like, just, it's not like multiple events like you're kind of used to, but like one big vent. And I'm curious to know, I guess, is, is, uh, what you think about that? Has it been hard to use or is there any advantages to that setup? That's a good question, Charles. Well, I will say this, let me pop up this. So this, this is a very, um, you see what I'm doing here? There's a little, okay, go down, go up, and, and sort of direct the flow of, of uh, heat or cooling, in this case, cooling. Uh, I do that for both sides. I can actually, if I recall, I think there's a way to, well, but anyway, so there's that. Then I can also direct it this way, spread. Tilt it over I think this Steve way. had a comment, but uh, I, I think he was muted. Oh, okay. Go, go, on. go, go ahead, read it. Because this is a sort of a low point. Go ahead. It's Charles, what is Steve's comment? Oh, no, that's okay. I think he was just... Uh, uh, oh. Well, shuffling at you, I think, or something. Well, I'm chatting in yeah. the house. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> anyway, so one of the last sections is, yes, I can watch Netflix. I can watch Hulu. I can watch YouTube. I can watch Twitch. I watch, sometimes I'm parked and I'm like, oh man, my phone just died. I got to wait for the phone to reboot so I can listen to my audiobook. So I'm going to pop up on the Twitch and watch some MST3K. Easy peasy. Um, then there's a bunch of video games encoded. I will say this. I, I've tried that, uh, this one right here, this beach buggy. I suck at that one. 
I've never tried Cuphead. I've never tried Backgammon, but uh, Asteroids 2014. I mean, they're all Centipede. Centipede's fun. fun. So there's all these games if you're just sort of sitting at a supercharger, you want to play something. And finally, uh, you've got all these Easter eggs hidden in the thing. There's actually one other Easter egg. I can do this. I've never done this before, so it's going to be the first time. A little Monty Python reference. <laughs> yes, there's a little Easter egg in there. You name your Carpazzi. You get uh, Monty Python foot. And also, in theory, you get uh, a new Monty Python uh, video set. Just, uh, just an FYI there. I learned that just the other day, and I thought I'd bring it up as a little surprise. Unfortunately, now I gotta go back. Hashtag, come on you. So, that's the inside of the car. I'm gonna walk outside now. And, uh, what your car looks like. Yeah, I'm curious to know, I guess, what, the, what, what, uh, what, the, I'm curious to know what the reason I call exterior CO2 features free you like. Is because CO2 free. All my electric cars have had that license plate. They've got the clean fuel sticker so they can uh, get HOV access here in Virginia. Doesn't help me in Maryland. In Maryland, I still got to use Route 50 in the uh, normal lanes or 270. I still got to use the normal lanes, but here in Virginia, I can pay money on the toll road and get HOV access. So that's the, uh, that's the outside. Let me show you a bit of the trunk space here. Come on, you. This thing. All right. Well, I can show you that, but I got to press some buttons. All of the, uh, I'm going to go show you this. All of the controls of the car are handled through this button over here. And uh, then I get this screen. And this screen allows me to open the glove box and control uh, whether the mirrors fold. Like, for instance, there, maybe you can see the mirrors folding. Like, if I need to park in a tight spot. Some various other settings, software updates. I can basically set up uh, when my car needs to update. I can also open up the trunk from over here. Open and open up the trunk, which is what I wanted to do. Show you the trunk space here. Oh, and this is the charge port. There we go. So this is the trunk. You can see it's pretty capacious. I'll admit, not as big as a Y, but then the Y gets the extra seats. And then in addition to all this space here, one of our famous uh, last year's EVA DC items. Over here, I got tons and tons of charge equipment. I got 100 foot of uh, 10 gauge or 12 gauge, I can't remember. Uh, and then this one is 14 gauge over here. This is uh, good enough for 240. So if I'm in a pinch and there's a dryer outlet, I can run another uh, another um, 100 feet and park from there. And then I have the Tesla charging equipment and the Tesla charging equipment. I've got all the do dongles. So you can see this little box here and I got uh, that kind of plug and that kind of plug. And I use this one a lot. This is a 20 amp wall plug. So it's a little bit faster than the regular plugs. And so I got all these adapters here. And uh, one other thing I always keep is a tripod, which if I had more time, I would have set up the tripod and then I could talk to you like a normal person instead of reciting to you through the phone like this. But anyway, um, how much time we got there, Charles? Uh, we've got as much time as you need, but I'm, one, one question I have is, uh, is how, how much have you been able to, what, what's the most you've ever managed to shove into your trunk? 
Uh, say that again, sorry. I'm uh, just curious now how much you've been able to, to shove into your the trunk of the car. Like how, how, when, when you, when you oh, say capacity, oh, uh, like how many bags of groceries, you know, luggage, that sort of thing. Well, that's an interesting question. I have never thrown it to the limit, but you know, a Costco run will certainly fit in here. There is this little dinky space here where I keep a couple of the showy flags. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, honestly, I've traveled and I put suitcases in there, my friends and not mine, and they fit pretty nicely. So it is a pretty nice space. It's what uh, having owned ice cars, I'd say eh, it's comparable, certainly for a sized car like this. But of course, you also get the trunk. Right now I have a bunch of ethernet cable in there. So you got all this extra. And most of the time, like when I'm driving to work, I just throw my backpack in here and uh, just pull it out when I get it to work. That way, uh, if I need to sit down and throw, throw stuff over here, it is just a normal seat. Normally with a car, you throw things over there. Now, tidy and out of the way. So quite nice. And if I can, I put groceries in the trunk as well. That's, that seems so, very convenient, for sure. I think, I think well, one other thing I will mention. This right here. This is a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a Raspberry Pi. So this is a little uh, computer in a, in a bag. And my long-term goal will drive here to record all the dash cams, especially since it's failing. We'll hook up this Raspberry Pi to the uh, car. And uh, in theory, it'll not only record my dash cams, not only uh, save them on the, on, the, on the drive here, but I should be able to get it to sync to Google automatically. So I never have to take the drive out of my car and move it over to uh, the computer. It'll just when I get home, sync the uh, sync the uh, the contents of the, the the drive cam onto my Google Drive, and then I can upload them to YouTube as I like. 